Welcome back to drillingcontractor.org. I'm Joanne Liu reporting from the 2014 IADC Contracts and Risk Management Conference in Houston. David Leckie, partner with Client & Co, joins me to tell us a little bit about what's going on across the pond in Europe. David, thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure. So tell us a little bit about the Sir Ian Wood Report. What does it do and how will it attract drilling contractors? Well, Ian Wood is a very highly respected industry figure in the UK, and he was asked by the government to do a report to see what can be done in practical terms to maximize the economic recovery of the UK continental shelf, because the feeling is that there's not enough being done uh, practically to make sure that the industry as a whole benefits from what oil is left in the ground and how best to get it out. A major point of discussion at the conference was the Macondo incident. What kind of lessons can the EU take away from that? Well, that's a very interesting question. What the EU did post Macondo was actually look very, very carefully at the regulatory regime across the EU, and the EU Energy Commissioner um, decided that some sort of legislation was required within the EU and so a directive, an offshore safety directive was passed by the EU and the implementation of that directive must take place by July 2015 across all EU members. Okay. And so far what have countries done to um, get ready for this compliance? Well from the UK's perspective a lot has been done. There's been a very extensive consultation by the regulator the Health and Safety Executive and DEC. They have issued a consultation, industry has responded, and they're going to make whatever changes are required to the UK regulatory regime to make sure that the directive is fully implemented. Now the same process is taking place in many other EU countries to, to varying degrees of uh, diligence, if I can put it that way, but essentially um, all countries across the EU must ensure that these um, that the directive is fully implemented and of course the directive uh, implements a number of very very important health safety and environmental changes uh, to make sure that there's proper emergency response in place to make sure that um, the management of health and safety in the environment is properly looked after under the appropriate legislative regime. Well David thanks so much for giving us an update on the latest happenings in Europe. It's a pleasure, thank you. And thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.